Hi, this is Lisa with Cheap Crazy Crafts. Got a really cute Halloween trick-or-treat. Uh, I guess a little snack you could give out to the trick-or-treaters at the door. Um, or use it as a party or give it to your co-workers. I just have a Pringles can full of barbecue potato chips. I left the chips inside. Um, we're going to make a monster. And then I'll show you some other ones that I did. So I have black felt purple felt, two eyeballs, I made a couple of teeth, so I'll kind of go through it again as we go along. You're going to need a hot glue gun. Just cut your felt the size of the can, the length. You'll, you can use a sharpie and a ruler to measure, so make sure you cut it the right length. And you just proceed to glue on the felt. And just pull it kind of tight. You can overlap it a little bit. I always do. It's okay. It's just a cute little treat for your trick-or-treaters. Okay, so we've overlapped. The back. So this is going to be your back side where your seam is. And then turn it around whoops, to the front. And let's go ahead and get your eyeballs on. You can get the eyeballs. You can get a bag of about 25 to 50 for a dollar. So it's a great and expensive little trick-or-treat snack we're making. So there's your two eyeballs. And then I'm going to do like some little, I guess little horns. So just glue those. Now I only glued the bottom so this bends back so you can get the top on. So make sure they bend back. Put those over the eyeballs. Little horns, I guess we can call these. Make sure they, make sure they bend forward. There's your little horns. Um, I got some of this ribbon, and then I kind of tore it apart, and I pulled out the black one because I thought it'd make a really cool mouth. So let's get the mouth on there. <clears throat> might be too long. We might need to cut off a little bit. You know, there's really no exact measurement. Just kind of do your thing. Just put the glue kind of just a little bit. You don't want to over glue it because it will show up on the felt. So just a little dab Oof. here and there. Might even cut it back a little bit more. Now this is really just the hardest part because the black is just so thin. Alright, just pull off all your excess glue that's around the mouth where you glued it down. And then let's put one more glue here. In the center. Hold that in place. Okay, now we're going to do just two little white teeth. I just cut it out of white felt. You'll glue those in like that along the mouth. Yeah, 
and then your other one will do the same way. So you've got two fangs coming from the mouth. You've got your horns. So it makes a cute little monster. Just do a little prep here, just to make sure that mouth stays in place. There we go. All right, so we have your monster with the eyes, the two teeth, your horns, and then let's put on the back some wings. You know, I got a, like a bag of these at Joann's Fabric. I think I was $24, $2 or something like that. And I've really used them. So I'm going to cut off the face of the bat and just use the wing part, which I do this a lot. So see, it just makes great wings. Just throw that piece in the trash. And then just glue your wings on to the back so you can kind of see them. Just a really cute little project. Alright, so let's make sure we center them right. Okay, isn't that cute? So, it just goes on the back. Let's get all that excess garbage off there. So, just there's your back with your bats, bat wings. And in the front, it looks so cute. So, your eyes, your little horns. So there's your monster, and the lid, <clears throat> let me show you how to do a cute lid. I sliced it with a knife here and here, and then wove this ribbon through it just beforehand, because I wanted to see what it looked like, but I'll show you how to do it. So here you go, snap on your lid, so you've got a nice little snack of Pringle chips to give out to the kids, and a cute little monster, purple monster. Then I also did, with felt the same way, you could do a pumpkin. And then I put um, a ribbon at the top. And then this, I emptied this out. This is an old recycled chip can. I had like three or four of these in the trash. So I took them out of the trash and I decorated them. So this is empty. So I made it look like one of these candy corn. Um, it's all different kinds. But isn't this cute? Look, I copied this. So we're going to stuff this can full of this corn. But now let's take this lid. I want to show you how to do the bow. So I have a piece of cardboard. Anytime you get cardboard out of a gift, go ahead and save it. Put it flat on your working board. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it better that way. And then just take your razor and then cut a slit here and then cut a slit here. Get your fingers out of the way. Okay. So we've got a slit here and a slit here and then I want to take this ribbon and get this at the dollar store. Let's use the rest of it. So that's kind of what I did with this one. So you'll just weave it through the slit that you cut with the knife or a little razor blade. Pull that through and then go up and do the other side. Pull it through. Make sure the slits are big enough or you'll wrinkle up your ribbon. Okay, so you do it like that. Even out your ribbon. Looks like that. And then tie a knot. And then tie a bow. I'm not sure how long the streamers need to be yet. Let's wait and put it on the Pringles can. Alright, so we have a nice little bow. So let's
let's set that aside for a minute. <clears throat> so let's take our caramel corn and a bag. You know, you can buy these um, little treat bags, probably 20, 30 for a buck. So this is a recycled can. Don't, don't throw these away. You could use these for a lot of things. So I cleaned it out with an antiseptic wipe and tie. And then let's put this down into the Pringles can. And then just take your caramel corn and put it into the bag. And then it comes with little twisty ties. So we'll do a little twisty tie. So you've got some caramel corn or candy corn in the Pringles can. Snap on the lid and then just kind of fluff your bow. Um, that bow might be too big. So just make it look however you want. Then you could let these streamers hang down, make that sit up if you wanted to, make those long. I made these short, so let's go ahead and cut them a little bit. It looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? So we'll cut those. There we go. So we have a really, really cute trick-or-treat gift you could give out at the door to the kids. You could leave the chips in. You could take them out and put your own caramel corn, uh, yeah, a candy corn. This, I put in some pumpkin taffy. Love, a lot of people love taffy, so that I thought that was cute, pumpkin taffy. So here's really a cute little idea to give out to the kids on trick-or-treat night. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more cute little do-it-yourself gifts.